Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this. Tom, da, tom. <laughs> I'm going to review Tati's Beauty for the first time. I haven't tried anything from the brand. I know they only release one eyeshadow palette as of now. So I'm going to be reviewing that and the controversial pops. And I'm going to tell you what I think. And here's a little sneak peek of the look I'm going to create. So don't move. And without any further ado, let's get started. I know that I'm a little late to the party, but I didn't want to review it before because of the whole drama that was going on. And I was like, mm, I'm not feeling it. But now I I'm super curious about how this palette really is because a lot of people were saying that it has a great, great quality and it's actually a very nice palette for you to create different looks, whether you want to do a nighttime look or you want to do an everyday look. So I'm going to base my opinion in the palette only. This is not the video for you to know about the drama and all that. There is a lot of videos about it that you can go and click and watch. <laughs> so I'm going to only talk about the palette right now so if you're interested in that, so keep on watching. I want to also talk about this. She explained that these are supposed to work whether you want to do a liquid application or powder or cream or whatever. So I really want to test them out and do that. So I'm going to be using this one for my foundation and I'm going to use this one for my powder and see how they work. So let's start with the eyeshadow application and i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i really want to see different shades and create a look using a combination of these tones i think i really want to do something smoky so i'm gonna be testing this column here because i really want to know how smoky can i go with them and i want to also play with a few shades in here so probably what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do like a smoky eye using this in the top of my lid area and maybe apply some other colors in the bottom so that's generally what I like to do whenever I want to test color and also black shades the only thing that I'm gonna use to help the eyeshadow because I'm gonna be working with black I want to use some primer so I'm gonna use this P. Louise which is my trusty primer and I'm gonna apply it in my top lid with my fingers and first I really want to use a transition before going straight with the black. So from the Sooth column, I'm gonna get the very first one, the matte formula. And I'm gonna use that one as a transition here in my crease area. You can see it's very pigmented, which is great. And I love how easy it was to blend too, which is nice. And now I'm gonna move straight to the black and I'm gonna get a denser brush and go into memory matte, which is the matte black. And I'm gonna dab this shade here in the outer part, just into the crease area, but not blend it upwards. I'm going to stop right where my eyes fold. That's how far I'm gonna get that black. And I really love how it's looking. Since I have hooded eyes, that's gonna happen because I was applying first the shadow with my eyes open because I didn't want the black to get hidden when I open my eyes. So now that I have my eyes semi-closed, I'm going to make sure that I get rid of that fold line or crease. And I'm dabbing the shade i'm not going into circular motion nothing like that i'm just dabbing the product and you can see it's very pigmented it's a very very black black <laughs> which i love with nothing in the brush i'm going to start pulling inwards this shade to the middle part of the eye now i want to keep this whole eye look a little bit rounder so I'm gonna keep it like that, but I really love how that black is looking and it's super pigmented. Wow, nice. I'm gonna move to the next eye and do the same thing. Wow, this is beautiful. 
is super super black i'm gonna get the sequin formula from the same memory column and she recommended for us to use our fingers to apply it so we can get the sequin to show and i'm going to apply that basically almost on top of what i just applied and going into the center do not pass the center of the eyelid so you're gonna dab it there and on top of the other shade too like the black that we just applied I'm gonna do the same here and this is gorgeous I know that sometimes for some people smoky eyes are a little bit complicated to do or even intimidating but this technique that I'm using today is actually super quick and easy to do if you are a beginner this is a type of smoky eye like when you do a round shape generally it looks great in everyone unless you have very very round type of eyes which I would recommend you to do more of a cat eye type of shape I'm gonna get a flat brush and I'm gonna get the metallic formula now. And I'm gonna apply that metallic formula into the inner part here and see how, wow, this is gorgeous. I have fallout, but that's something that really, I don't mind because I'm doing a smoky eye and black tends to give a lot of fallout anyways. So I'm not worried about that. Since the quality of these shadows is pretty good, I really don't mind it. I will be a little bit disappointed if for example, it's giving me fallout, but it's not giving me like full on application. I'm not seeing like a good quality of product, but this one is great. It's very, very good. And the shadows look amazing. This smoky eye is beautiful. And I have only applied the black column and just one of the other matte shadows. So I'm creating like a full look only using four shadows, which means that gives you the chance to create a whole look only using one column or you can mix and match, which is great too. Some people love like eyeshadows that are very, I would say like kind of basic that you know what you're gonna do with those and this eyeshadow palette i feel like it's very cohesive you can do a lot with it and you can also be super neutral every day with it too so that's great uh, that i love <laughs> and enjoy a lot and also the quality is amazing it's very very nice i'm gonna remove the fallout a little bit with this brush I probably have to go with a makeup wipe but right now. I don't have a lot of fallout. I have just normal fallout because of the brushes and stuff like that. But the product actually, when you put it in your eye, like it stays there. So I'm super, super excited about that. And I'm gonna get the fluffy brush that I was using before for the transition. And I'm gonna get the same shade Soothe, the matte shade. And I'm going to use that one just to get rid of any harsh line here in the surrounding areas of the eyeshadow <laughs> and further blend that black shade. But I really, really love how everything is looking right now. It's a gorgeous look. Let me clean up a little bit with a makeup wipe. And before actually moving to apply the eyeshadow in the bottom lid, I'm going to apply the foundation using this. I don't remember if she said that this needs to be wet or not. Let me see on the website very quick. No, it really doesn't say nothing about it needed to be wet in order to use it. So I'm gonna use it dry. I'm gonna use this one because it's been a while that I don't use this foundation. This is the 24 hour fresh wear infallible from L'Oreal. And I'm gonna get my beautiful palette here. I'm gonna get the foundation there and I'm going to use this. I'm gonna go straight with it and see how it looks. Let's see how well this works. Okay, it was easy. It was actually very fast. I'm not mad at the application. It actually did it very fast. You can see there was uh, super quick. It's actually like using a beauty blender or something like that. So for me, 
I think I like it. It's not gonna be the type of product that I'm gonna reach all the time, but whenever I wanna do my makeup and I don't have much time to uh, do my makeup, I probably will use this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use it also for my cream product applications. So I'm gonna use the Mario products here. I have the soft skull blush stick and I also have the bronzer stick in medium dark. I'm not gonna use the brush that it comes with because I really wanna try this thing. <laughs> so let me apply it very quick and I'm gonna use the blender full to blend it. So she said that you can fold it like this and blend. So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, it works very nice. Look at that. It actually blended the product super easy and nice, so I'm not mad at it. Let's do the blush now. I haven't applied concealer. I'm gonna apply concealer after I do the blush. And I'm gonna get another part of the little thing and just do the blush now. I'm using all cream products so I can use this blendful. <laughs> I love this blush, it's beautiful. And this actually works. Like I told you before, if you are a person that wants something quick to do your makeup, probably this is going to be nice. But I see myself using this more for powder than liquid or cream products because it actually is quick, but it's not that quick. You have to know how to work it out. So if you are a person that doesn't know much about makeup tools and stuff like that, this might be a little bit confusing for you. And let me apply some concealer now. I'm gonna get my trusty Born This Way concealer and apply here, a little bit here in the upper part. And I'm gonna get another little part of the blendful and apply the concealer. Yeah, this is a good idea, but for example, if I want to reach the inner part of my eye for the concealer, then I need a brush. Like I cannot reach it with the blendful. Okay, so I apply all of my creams now. I'm gonna set my makeup with some powder and I'm gonna use the other puff here. So let me get the Hello. This is the Hello Glow Setting Powder by Elf Cosmetics. I've been loving this powder lately and I'm going to set my entire face with it. Whenever I use a puff, I actually like to get all the product like this. And then what I do is I kind of move around my fingers into the puff just to make sure that it gets into the puff and it doesn't have like those blotches of powder there and make sure that I just go into Davi motion to set the makeup. Davi motions will help you also not to remove or move around the product that you already apply, like all the creams. You can do this or you can do like this. So you make sure that the powder doesn't get stuck in one place and just do Davi motions like this. Yeah, definitely. I think these puffs are perfect for your powder. You can see it was super easy for me to apply the powder and set the whole face. Yeah, these are definitely more for powder application. It's a cute, cute idea. I will prefer this for powder, definitely. I feel like it was easy but at the same time tricky to use with the liquid application, especially for the creams, like you have to make sure that it's not patchy and stuff like that. Now that I already uh, used these two tools, I'm going to finish the entire face. I go apply some highlighter, my lips and all that out off camera, and I'll be right back so we can finish the eyes and give you my final touch. Okay, now that I finished the rest of the face, ah, I'm missing the lips. I'm going to get this new colors that I ordered with Buddha Beauty. I'm gonna get this one called Baby Face, but I'm gonna apply it by the end of the video. When we finish our eyes, I did a little more of the 
of bronzer, a little of a blush moment, and highlight and finish my brows. And I only apply mascara on the top lash so we can finish the bottom one. So I'm gonna get from the ritual column, the matte one, and I'm going to basically smoke out that in the bottom part with this. It's a fluffy flat brush like this. Beautiful too. It's a very gorgeous brown. Very, very nice brown. And I think I want to play a little bit with the orange anyways. So with a very uh, small pencil brush, I'm gonna get Story, uh, the matte shade. And I'm going to apply that more into the inner part of the bottom lid, just to give a little hint of orange there but it's not gonna be nothing too dramatic this orange is not like a new orange it's more like a burnt orange which is kind of nice too and i only applying it into the inner part and mix it with the brown a little bit and to finalize the inner part i really want to apply like a hint of that beautiful press glitter so I'm gonna get a small flat brush. Let me see if I can find one. This, this is the ASO Concealer Brush, the E836. And I'm gonna get this glitter here from the Aura column. I'm gonna get the glitter formula. This is the Aura glitter. And I'm going to apply that glitter here into the inner corner. Wow, gorgeous. I'm taking it a little bit upward. Oh my God, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to finish my bottom lid with some mascara. This is a Kush mascara from Mil Cosmetics. It's one of my favorite mascaras as of today. <laughs> and I'm loving this makeup look. This is gorgeous. I'm in love with it. And the last thing I'm going to apply is my lipstick. This is Baby Face Cream Lipstick. This is from the Glow line that she released not too long ago, Huda Beauty. And I'm applying this by itself. I'm not gonna do any lip liner yet. I'll probably do like a tiny bit just to define the lips. But I'm gonna apply this first. Oh, this is a beautiful lipstick. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God, <laughs> I hit my nose with it. And let me get some uh, lip liner. My favorite lip liner at the moment is Coqueta Liner from Alamar. I love this brown and I'm going to use it to define my lips a little bit. And that's it. So this is the final look, guys. As you can see, I did like a very smoky nighttime look with this palette. And I really, really recommend if you haven't tried the palette, it's not a new palette at all. It's a palette that is in the market for a long time now. I think it has a, at least a year and some if it's not two years. But I really love how well thought it was. I think it's a very cohesive palette. It's a palette that if you are a person that loves your neutrals or you are a makeup artist that works a lot with events like brides, proms, and event looks, this palette is going to be super, super cool for you to use. You have a hint of color, but you also have a lot of neutrals that you can play with. And you have that glitter moment that if your client asks you for a touch of glitter, then you have it. For the puffs, I think the idea of using cream or or liquid with it. I don't find it very nice for it because the thing is that it's not super, super easy to use. Like if you have the skills to apply your makeup with something like this, then it's going to be super fast and maybe faster than using a brush or a beauty blender. But for me, I think this is a little bit tricky because you have to get the hang of it for it to work with liquids or cream. But I think it's a great idea if you want to apply powders. For powders, I will say yes. Go ahead if you want to try it out, get it. This one is the same thing. I think this one is like a firmer 
type of consistency that it has. It's a firmer material. And I think this one is meant to be for powder than this one. This one, uh, since it's very flimsy and stuff, I guess you can get it wet and stuff like that. So you can apply liquids too. But both of them for me are powder <laughs> puffs. I don't see myself using this again for any type of liquid application. But these are great ideas. You can get something cheaper in the market, I'm not gonna lie. I bought these ones from Shein and these were $1.50 and it's the same idea basically. But if you love Tati, you wanna support and you wanna get them, get them. The whole thing, I, I think the winner, and she only has two products in her line as of now. I think definitely if you're thinking about getting the palette, get it. I think it's a great palette for the price. It's a very nice quality. You won't be disappointed. I really recommend it. And I really love this look with it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me in the comments below if you were thinking about getting the palette or if you already have it, how you like it. I would love to know your thoughts about it. And leave me in the comments below if you want me to maybe revisit the palette and do something else, maybe something more neutral, not this you know, patty look <laughs> that I did today. Let me know, let me know in the comments what you think. Share this video with your friends. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and I see you on the next one. Bye bye. Yo.